What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel. Well, today, guys, we have a lot of new mods to go over today. We got 17 new console mods and 15 new console mod updates. On consoles today, we got the Loader QM Extra, the Robert Evil Mix 230P, the Fiat 180 Brazil, the PSE 125A, the Lizard Corral 2000L, the Small Water Trailer, the Maxion 9000 Series, the Lizard 3000, the Lizard Carp, the Mod Test Map, Lightweight, Implement Shed Pack, the Modern Decorative House, Old Polish House, the Multi Fruit Silo, the Polish Wells, and New Fence Pack. On updates for today, we got the John Deere 7000 Planter, the TLX 9000 Semi, the Cranny 22700, the Pickup 1969 Brazil, the Lizard Surico, the Lizard Suncut Pack, the TLX 48 Foot Enclosed Trailer, the Man TGX Crusher Pack, the Mossy Ferguson 7700S, the Metal Tech PP Pack, the New Holland CR690, the Medium Pull Through Workshop, the Large Pull Through Garage Pack, the Double Door Garage, and last but not least, the Self Made 800 kg Weight. Wow, that is a lot of stuff to go over. You know what? Let's just roll that intro and let's get into these mods. Here we go. Okay, now welcome back guys. Okay, so the first mod to go over today is this one right here, the Loader QM Extra. It's $40,000, 13 slots, holds up to 10 bales on this one, the Heston Extra, and 16 bales on the regular ones. Let's see options on these. Let's see, you can change the rim color to any color, the main color to any color. We got wheel brand, Trailborg, Michelin, Trailborg you have standard, you have Y tires, twin radials, and standard on that one. Let's see, Michelin, you have the Cargo X-Bib HD, the Cargo X-Bib HD wide, uh, the Cargo X-Bib wide, and then back to the regular. Let's see, design, we have without grippers, default grippers, uh, wide grippers, and then without grippers. We got without beacons, with beacons, and back to without. You know what, let's actually take a look at this actually in game. Okay, so here we are at the store. I have the regular loader right here. Also remember, this does have a Heston one, so if you want to use the Heston baler, you can on this one, which is pretty nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and hook this up real quick. It looks, detail is amazing on this. Wow. Okay, so let's go over here. So let's put this thing right over here real quick. Let's actually get maybe a bale or two. Let's just get one bale just to try it out real quick. So there is the one bale right there. Okay, lift, lower, loader. Let's try that. So that's B. Oh, okay. Okay, puts it out to the side right there. Oh, how cool is that? Operating position. And we'll see how this thing actually loads it. That would have been better if it was on the other side, right? Let's try to get on the other side without wrecking. Let's move this thing over to right there. Might be a little bit more easier. Had to pick the store to test this in. Okay, so let's just go right over here. So let's just go right next to it. Reverse it real quick. That thing is really close to it, isn't it? Or is that just me? Yeah, it's like, I don't know about that. <laughs> Let me actually lift lower. Okay, what does this do? I don't know what that does. Let me actually... Oh, okay, so that lowers the wheel back there. What does this do? Oh, okay, so that actually pushes out more. Okay. That might help. Okay, so... Oh, there it goes. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, let me get one more bale real quick, see if we can load that up real quick. I like this. This thing's pretty nice. load up this one so as long as it touches it well okay maybe as long as it goes on there it should pick it up if I'm not mistaken yeah there we go okay, look at that wow that thing's nice okay let's let's see how it unloads the bales so that's how it unloads the bales right there so it looks like they just slide off see a little bit of thing right there 
so they go all the way down. Probably lifts all the way up, doesn't it? Yep. I think my, I found myself a new bail loader. And unload. So just do like that. And then back to there. Okay, so that right there, guys, is the loader QM Extra. I love this thing. Okay, then after that, we have a new animal feeder. This is the Robert Evil Mix 230P. $70,000, 17 slots on this, holds up to 30,000 liters. Let's see, 90 horsepower for this is required. Uh, let's see, options though, we got standard, we got watering. Oh, I wonder what watering means. Then we got tube, then we got tube plus watering. That's pretty nice right there. Uh, let's see, distribution, we got without conveyor or with conveyor. So nice little conveyor with there. Uh, we got rear option, we got without option. We got with chest, with spreading, and then without option on that one. So that is the Robert Evil Mix 230P, really nice. So far, the two mods going over, they are really nice today. Okay, now the next one we have is a new truck. This is the Fiat 180 Brazil, $21,000 raw, it's really cheap. Holds up to 19,400 liters. Let's see, 49 miles an hour is the top speed. 180 horsepower. Let's see, it is 33 slots on this. Let's see, options. We got rim color, any color. Design color, any color. Main color, any color. Configuration, you have bail loading wagon. You have capacity 3,800. Capacity 19,400. And then back to the bail loading wagon. Let's see, the markers, no or yes. I'll put some in the front. Uh, let's see, embellishment, rear lights. Standard right there. Uh, then we got three orange lights, red lights, five orange lights, five red lights, and back to standard. We'll set up, you got standard, you got hubcap one, hubcap two, hubcap three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, how far does it go? 13, still going. Iron rims, and then back to one, jeez. Mud flaps, mud flap one, two, and then back to one on that one. Let's actually take a look at this one in game. Okay, and here we go in game. Oh, these things look really nice too. Wow, I like the markings on there. Okay, let's get into this one real quick. Let's see, we got, let me, ooh, nice engine sound. Let me put this thing right over here real quick so you guys can see. Ooh, nice engine turning off sound. Okay, let's see, lower axis. Let's see what that does. Ooh, nice. Okay, so that raises it and lowers the back wheel. Uh, let's see, what does this do? Okay, so that lowers the side. So LB and using the right joystick on your controller, lowers the side. And then, okay, and the up and down on your right joystick lowers that one. That is for the bail loading trailer. Uh, let's see, honk. Oh wow, that horn, geez. Okay, what does this do? Okay, so the RB and the right stick up and down lowers the back one. So there is that. Let's see, fat tension belts. I don't see the tension belts. Where's the tension belts at? Don't tell me they're gonna be underneath the trailer. They're probably underneath the trailer. Okay, let's see, unload here. What happens if you push unload here? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to look at the interior. So here is the interior. Nice little interior. Let's turn the engine on. Okay, those are the sounds. Let's see, 51 miles an hour is the top speed. Let's drive a minute. So there it is without the lower axis. Let's lower the axis real quick. There we go. And then all four start moving. Okay, really nice truck. Wow. Okay. Okay, let's go in here real quick to see if there's anything different. Let's see the unload here. Okay, that's what that does. Okay. Let's see, lower access. Looks like all the same stuff. Lower back, left. Let's actually see what happens when it does that. Okay, so that opens up. Okay. So that right there, guys, is the Fiat 180 Brazil. 
And now for the next mod, we have a new trailer. This is the PSE 125A. It's 2,824 slots, 15,500 liters is the capacity on this one. Let's see options. You got rim color, any color. So let's just put it as black. As you see, it changes the rim color. Design color, you got pretty much any color. Let's put it as blue. So that changes, of course, the dolly part and the bottom part. And then the main color, you can change it to any color. So you should just do the tipper right there. Okay, configuration, you got the capacity is 5,100, capacity is 7,100, capacity 15,500, and then bail loading wagon, and then back to the 500. Uh, board, we got metal, wooden. Uh, let's see, wheel setup, you got standard, white rims, mud guards, white rims plus mud guards, and then back to standard on that. So that is the PSE 125A. And now the next one we have is this one right here, which is the Lizard Corral 2000L, which is $20,000, six slots, holds up to 2000 liters. It does require 65 horsepower, 14 working meters. Let's see, it does liquid fertilizer or herbicide. Let's see options on this one. We got auxiliary headlights, which is standard. We got with the auxiliary headlights. Uh, we got with blue LED headlights, and then back to standard. Set, wheel setup, we have smooth tires, retreaded tires, and then back to smooth tires. So that is the corral. Okay, so now if we take a look in the animal section, we have our next mod, which is the Lizard Water Trailer. $4,000, four slots on this, holds up to 1,200 liters, and of course, this only does water on this one. Options though, we got main color, we got pretty much most of the colors right there. We got green, blue, yellows, oranges, grays. Design color, any color, so of course you can have it pink if you want to. Design, you got one, you got two, which changed, oh, the triangle right there. And then back to one on that one. Wheel setup, you got standard, you got lizard one, lizard two, lizard three, lizard four, lizard five, and then back to standard. I really like that lizard five. Okay, so that is the water trailer. And now we have our next tractor for today. This is the Maxion 9000 series, 22,370. It is nine slots on this. Uh, top speed of 19 miles an hour. Let's see, 130 horsepower for this. Let's see the options. We got main color, we either got blue or red. Man, that is really zoomed in. Uh, we got wheel brand, Lizard, Michelin. Lizard, you have standard, you have wheel weights. You have back to standard. Let's see the Michelin, you have wide. You have wide weights wide and then back to wide weight so pretty much just two options on that one the engine setup you got the 9130 the 9150 the 9170 so you can go all the way up to 170 horsepower let's actually take a look at this one in game okay so here we are in game let's actually jump into it real quick let's see two cameras here is the inside uh let's see map size horn standard horn no options for that one okay let's turn it on real quick Pretty much standard uh, tractor sounds right there. Lights, there's no lights on the inside. That moves, that pedal moves right down there. Let's go real quick. So one set of lights, two sets of lights. So two sets of lights on there. Turn signals, yes. Check the front real quick. Okay, so that right there guys is the Maxion 9000 series. Okay, now the next one we have is the Lizard 3000. Let's see, it's $5,000, four slots on this, holds up to 3,000 liters. And this, of course, will hold your, you know, your herbicide, your water, your fuel, stuff like that. Let's see, options though, there is no options for this one. Okay, and now the next mod to go over is this one right here under forestry equipment. This is a new stump cutter. This is the Lizard Carp. It is $3,000, five slots. Let's see, it is 40 horsepower is required for this to work. Let's see, options though, design color, we got reds or greens. Main colors, you got pretty much blacks or grays on that one. So that is it of the regular mods for today. I will actually, hold on, we got one more regular mod to go over, which is this one right here. This is lightweight, which is 1200, three slots. Uh, let's see, options though, we got main color. Wow, lots of main color on that one. Design color, any color, so you could do it purple. Wow, there's a lot of colors on this one. Let's just do it red real quick so you guys can see what changes on that. Let's see the telescopic color. You got design color. You got main color, black, chrome, design color. Let's see the weight, 100 kilograms, 250, 500, 750, 1000, 1250, 1500, 1750, 2000, 2500, 3000, 3500. Jeez, wow, that is a big weight right there. 
Uh, beacon, no or yes. Uh, let's see, lighting shadows, yes or no. Uh, back decal, standard, uh, large, none. Uh, let's see. And then let's see, light setup, standard, front only, front and sides, back only, back and sides, or no sides, or no lighting. Uh, let's see, and that is it of the options on that one. So that is a pretty nice way. A lot of options on that one right there. Okay, so that is it of the regular mods. Let's go over to the placeables for today. Okay, so the first placeables we have for today is the Implement Shed Pack, which includes, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten new sheds, which all the way range from, you know, regular sheds to large ones, which is 25,000 for the smaller one, 35,000 for the larger one. And these are all three slots a piece. So really good on the slot count. Let's go ahead and place the large one down real quick and a regular one. See how much more bigger it is. So put it right there. Wow, I already like these sheds. There we go. Wow, this this is a really nice shed right here. Okay, so that is the bigger one, which has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five bays. And this one has one, two, three. Oh, this one has five too. It's just a smaller version of it. And there we go right there, all five of them. Yeah, nice, nice shed pack right here. Okay, now the next placeable we have for today is this one right here, the Modern Decorative House. $35,000, 29 slots, $18 a day on this. So let's go ahead and place this. This does 360 degree rotation on this one. So let's just put it right there. Okay, can you go into it or anything? Probably not. Nope, but there is a light switch on it. Oh, wow. That is really nice. Okay, let's... Can that open up or anything? No, it can't, but that is pretty nice. I like that right there. Oh, does that, act? oh, I think this actually lights up if you're using seasons. So if you're using seasons, I believe the Christmas lights will come on on seasons. That will be pretty nice. I wonder if I turn on those lights, will it turn on all those lights? No, just that light right there. Okay, what about this other one? Turn that one on. Okay, I'll see if there's a way you can turn on these two lights right over here, but there isn't. So this is a pretty nice little decorative pack right here. Okay, on to the next one. Like I said, this one does do Christmas lights. These all light up. You know what? Let's actually put a picture of it all lit up right here. So there it is right there. See how nice that looks? Wow. Okay, so let's get to the next one, which is another house. Let's go over here. It's the old Polish house, which is $10,000, 40 slots on this, $18 a day. It's made by the same person who made the modern decorative house. Uh, let's go ahead and put this down real quick, just right over here. So there it is right there. Nice details on these houses. This will be nice as you know, regular houses with sleep triggers. Does it have lights? Let's see. Yes, it does have lights. Wow. How about this one? Light on that one. I like these. Remember, these are both seasons ready on these ones. Uh, what does that say right there? 15 something. Okay, so there is the old Polish house. Okay, and so for the next one we have is the multi-fruit silo. Let's see, it's $480,000, holds up to 5 million liters, five slots on this, $120 a day, and this thing can hold up to anything, your root crops, anything it can hold. So this will be a big plus right here. Wow, this has a big footprint. It's pretty tall, yeah. <laughs> okay, so of course, drop in your crops right there, and then you can get them out right there. So really nice little silo right there. Wow, I like this. I wish you can climb up ladders in this game, seriously. Okay, the next one, let's go over to here, probably under miscellaneous, there it is right there. This is the Polish Wells, which includes two wells, $1,200, uh, four slots for this one, five slots for that one, $5 a day for both of them. This one just has a cover over it, and this one doesn't. Let's go ahead and place that one right there, and place that one right over there. So of course, this is water triggers, so go up over here and you can fill up your water. Let me make sure there's nothing I can open or anything on there. No, it isn't. Uh, nothing over there either. Nope. Okay, so that right there, guys, was the Polish Wells. Okay, we got one more new mod to look over. Let's go over to here. Let's go under decorations. And then right there, which includes is the new fence pack, which includes a metal gate, a pillar, uh, S4M, 8M, 4. Yeah, there's tons, as you guys can see. Wow, there is a lot. 
two slots for looks like most of these actually it looks like every single one's two slots okay so let's go ahead and place a few real quick here's that so let's go ahead and place this uh let's go ahead and place one of these okay so there we go right there there is the gate can you not open the gate oh there it goes we got the pillar we got this right here and that right there it's a really nice little fence pack right here so that right there guys is the end of the new mods for today of course we got a lot of updates to go over so let's go over those updates really quick Okay, so here we go with the first updates for today, which there is a lot. So it might take me a minute to go over these. The first one though, is the John Deere 7000 planter. What did this change? Add a selection of used colors, added colors in the tank, and correct a supply error on that one. So that is for the John Deere 7000 planter. Now the next one, the TLX 9000. Yes, it did get an update. Let's see the change log on it. Added the paint jobs, and issue fix strap points adjusted on that one. And the next one, the Karina 2700, it actually does not have a change log on it, so I have no clue what it's for, but it does say manure system ready, so that might be for that right there. The next one after that one we have is the Pickup 1969 Brazil. What did this change? Implement improvements to physics, optional bodies, and that is it on that one. The next one after that one, the Lizard Sirico. What did this change on this one? Increasing capacity to 8,000 liters, decrease in height and high position, modification of the desk version, uh, modification of the storing icon, fix the bug to fill directly to the silo without the loader, 3D spare hydraulics redone, and modification of the dirt on decals on that one. The next one after that one we have is the Lizard Sun Cut Pack. What did this change? Added the Sun Cut 676, added the Sun Cut 876, added the Sun Cut 1076, added the Sun Cut 1276, and added four cutter trailers on that one. Then after that one we have the TLX 48 foot enclosed trailer. What did this do? Added color patterns for the rigged plane panel. Issue fixed, uh, revised descriptions and specified custom controls. Issue fixed, revised center of mass to prevent tipping. Issue fixed, uh, start animation of the lift gate. Another issue was fixed, the seams visible on the rigid paneling. And another issue, adjusted the brake force on that one. And that's for the TLX 48 foot. Uh, the next one, the Man TGX Crusher Pack, got an update, update too. This one, let's see, exhaust made visible again on that one. And then the next one after that one, the Mossy Ferguson 7700S. What did this change? New colors design, new tire configurations, and various bug fixes on that one. And then the next one, the Metal Tech PP Pack. What did this change on that one? Fixed bugs with textures and added the new version, the PP14 on that one. And then after that one, we have is the New Holland CR690. The change log on that one. Fixed decals aversion, discharge tube light added, simple IC added, engine added the cr880 and the 1090 the mod desk version 53 pipe configuration added and light configuration on that one and after that one we have the medium pull through workshop with lift pack what did this change on this one uh fixed two collisions in front and back of buildings on that one the next one the large pull through garage pack what did this change on this one brand added adjustment to door windows added decorations changed interior wood texture uh, changed seasons roof and French translations added on that one and then the next one the double door garage What did this change on this one? Let's see added features for seasons and interior lights fixed on that one And then the last one finally the last one is the self-made 800 kg weight What did this change on this one? Mod desk version 53 and texture and model revised on that one Wow, guys, so that was all the updates, the new mods, the placeables. That was everything for today. A huge, huge list. If I'm going to have to say what my favorite mod for today is, probably probably that loader QM Extra. I love that loader right there. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys' favorite mod or placeable is for the day. I also like these workshops right here. Well, the shed pack right here. Today's schedule after this video, of course, will come out FS Daily News, but that will be it. So hopefully you guys all have an amazing rest of your day. Remember, if you guys are new to the channel or if you guys like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. Also, make sure you guys do hit that sub button and ring that bell. So every time I upload a video, you guys will get the notification about it. Remember, guys, have an all day, farmers. Peace.